goody goody. Dance contest, discount tattoos, hair paint, and studs. Studs? I'm there. Hey, you forgot the most important part. Music by Mick. Oh, Mick, it's your band? Cool. And for people that come in costume, there's a free safety pin with every hamburger. Mr. Goody will do anything to get rid of that ground round he got at the swap meet. So how's my sweet niece and her sweet best friend, who I haven't seen in a week? Well, that's because you're too busy with your music and your girlfriends to give us a second thought. Hey, my time is your time. An uncle should spend time with his niece. I think I know that girl. And I never forget a face. I think your uncle is where the network's got the idea for the flash. I think I just saw the flash. Ian, there's something really important I have to ask you. It's, it, it's a personal crisis which I would like treated with the dignity it deserves. Well, you can count on us. Sure, Chris. So what'd you do? Total your car? Total your dad's car. Lindsay, this isn't some irresponsible child. So whose car did you total? Nobody's. Look, when I was away at college, I, I had plenty of time to do nothing but think. That is a crisis. And what I realized was I've been out of touch. I mean, people around here forgot how cool I am. I'm not the big cheese in Marlowe anymore. There, there. Oh, you're still a cheese. Pump night is a major social event. So, uh, um, I, I want you to go with me, Evie, and help me regain the reputation I desperately need to maintain my self-esteem. Sure, Chris. Promise? Yeah, I promise. All right, see you Saturday night. Oh, and dress hot. After yeah. all, you'll be seen with me. <laughs> sure, Chris. I promise. Where are you, Evie? What are you talking about? Look, Evie. When it comes to guys, there are three rules. First, never accept a blind date without seeing picture ID. Second, never go out with anyone who's cuter than you are. And third, never ever actually promise to go anywhere. That's how you handle guys. Yeah. Make them wonder. Make them suffer. And they'll come crawling back for more. So who are you going with Saturday night? Well, I don't know. Nobody's returned my phone calls. Yo, Edward, you and me, Saturday night. Let's order. Oh, what well, looks good? The special of the day. How do you see that? He just walked in the door. It's Malcolm Moneybags Murphy. Oh, Lindsay, that's mean. Just because his father's wealthy doesn't mean you have to call him Moneybags. He's in my French class. He's nice. He's coming over to a table. Personally, I wouldn't give him the time of day. Hi, Evie. Hi, Lindsay. 5.15. Do you mind if I talk to Evie for a moment? What am I supposed to do? Play solitaire? It's not a bad idea. There's a few cards. Oh, my gosh! American Express and Visa? And they're gold! Yo, gang, everything's on me! She's nice. Your friend. But every time I see her, she keeps telling me what time it is. You have to get to know her. You're the one I want to get to know. Oh, slow down. The speed limit's 55. Sorry, I'll pull over to the slow lane. Evie Garland. Yes, Malcolm Murphy. Would you do me the honor of joining me for a small dinner party at Antoine's? Lobster, clams, those little forks, the works. You want to go? Sure. I love those little forks. So it's a date. <laughs> Thanks, Evie. You've made my day. I'll uh, see you Saturday night. Saturday night? Oh, Malcolm, I You're can... so terrific. Do you know how long I've wanted to ask you out? Did you want to say something? No. <laughs> see you Saturday. What have I done? <laughs> setting here. Put it on a card. Pick a card. Any card. Evie, what's wrong? I'm paying. Nothing. I just made a date with two different guys for the same night. How do I tell him? I, mean, I have to be sensitive to his feelings. I know. 
I'll blurt out the truth, slam the door in his face, and move to a new address. Hi. What do you want to talk to me about? Well, hey, look, Chrissy... I don't have much time. I'm late for a fitting. I'm getting a new punk outfit. You bought an outfit for punk night? Heck no. I rented it. You know, punk's not my look, so I went to a professional. $75 at Crazy Costumes R Us. Seventy-five dollars? I know. I, I know it's a lot of money, but, but it's worth it. Because I'm going out with you. Oh, look, I'm sorry. W what is it you want to tell me? Um, nothing. Uh, you don't have to pick me up. I'll meet you at the goody-goody. <laughs> Great. See you Saturday night. Hi, Evie. It's Malcolm. Oh, great. Look, there's something I gotta tell you. Wait, I have to tell you something first. We can't have dinner at Antoine's. Wonderful! <laughs> I mean, um, gee, I'm sorry we have to cancel. But we don't. You don't understand. Antoine wouldn't give me the table I wanted, so I switched our reservations to the Ritz Marlowe. Look, <sighs> Malcolm, I can't make it. Hold on, someone's at the door. These cost a lot of money, but they're worth it because I'm going out with you. <sighs> Malcolm, the flowers are beautiful. I'm glad you like them, Evie. But did I hear you say you couldn't make it? Um, no. Uh, what I was trying to say was I couldn't make it till 7.30. Oh, great. So I'll meet you at the Ritz? I'll be there. Bye. Bye. He'll be at the Ritz, and I'll be in the pits. <laughs> and I just don't have the guts to break either promise. Yeah, here on Antares, we don't have the guts to break promises either. Bunch of cowards, eh? No. We just don't have guts. Our spleens, or livers. <laughs> hey, why don't you just give me the power to be at two places at the same time? Yeah, might be fun. That would definitely be an abuse of power. Yeah, I know. But I have the power to teleport myself, remember? Sure I do, but if you use it, be careful, because if you're not, I'll tell your mother we never had this conversation. <laughs> Good luck, honey. What if it still works? <laughs> Everything's still here. <laughs> not bad. Gotta watch out for the furniture. <laughs> hey, thanks to this power, I now know how to keep two dates at the same time. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. <laughs> what kind of outfit is that? Like it? It looks like something you got on sale at the Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Maybe you like this one better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now that I like. Why the fashion show? Well, see, Chris asked me to go to punk then night. Do, do me a favor. Go put these on and then tell me all about it. What am I going to do with these? Help me paint the kitchen. Paint the kitchen? Yeah. Remember you said you'd help me paint the kitchen Saturday night? That's tonight. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah, and that was this Saturday. Huh? You didn't make any other plans, did you? Me? No. Oh, good. I hate to think you planned two things on the same night. You know, Mom, I could uh, greet this kitchen any color you want. But then we wouldn't be spending the time together. And besides, you would be misusing your powers. Remember what happened the last time you misused your powers? Yeah, but how did I know he'd really pick Dan Quayle? <laughs> hey, let's put on these overalls. I'll be right back. Thank you, Punk Street. That was our version of the punk classic, The Sound of Mucus.
terrible. Everyone thinks I couldn't get a date. Well, hey, you can always say you're with me. Same thing. Gee, thanks. You know, I can't understand why you couldn't get a date. Hi. Huh. Evie, it's about time. Come on, let's dance so everyone can see us. Okay. Hey, you guys look cool. Be sure and stick around for the costume awards. <laughs> Think I got a chance? No, but stick around anyway. We play better when there's a crowd. No, time's almost up. Time for what? Um, time for my trick knee to go out. Yeah, if you sit right away, it'll be fine. Hi, guys. Hey. hey Chief Applegate, what are you doing at punk night? Punk night? I thought it was punk night. <laughs> well, uh, I better work the room and see who wants to meet me. You ought to be back in about five seconds. Three, two, one. Well, gotta go. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I gotta meet Malcolm. Poor Chris. Got quiet in here, didn't it? Oh, yeah. That's because my Uncle Mick's on a break. Uh, maybe someone will play the jukebox. <laughs> My favorite song. <laughs> well, you must like antiques. I'm going to play something else. No, no, no. Come on. It's the latest hit tune. It is? See, I've been wasting my time getting a college education. That's it. I, I can't face this anymore. What's going on here? Uh, uh, it, it's, it's the Vogue. It's a new dance, you know, where everyone freezes and poses like fashion models. I didn't know that either. I am so uncool. That's it. My life's over. Um, I'll be right back. Wait, wait where are you going? Uh, to get a safety pin. But for your dress? For my nose. <laughs> hey, this new power's working out great. Hi. Evie. I didn't hear you come in. Uh, yeah, it's it's my new shoes. Hush puppies. <laughs> Please, sit down. I've already ordered our appetizers. Oh, thank you. Hi, Malcolm. Evie. Evie, what are you doing here? Having dinner. What else? Right. Thanks. <laughs> What's wrong with Chief Applegate? No one knows. Here. I suggest you order something leisurely. We have the whole evening. Um, gee, I gotta go outside for a minute. Check the air in my tires. No? Oh, well, yeah, it's brand new air. I might try to escape. <laughs> Ready to go to work now? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Can't wait. Why are you wearing high heels? Huh? Oh, oh, well, um, I'm wearing these so I can reach higher places with the roller. You want to trade some time? Uh, wouldn't help. Hi, right, Don, I thought I'd come over some coffee. Oh, you're out of coffee. Hi, Evie. Evie, what are you doing here? Painting. What else? <laughs> what else? I gotta go. Oh, do you want me to make some coffee? coffee? No, 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 I don't want any coffee. Coffee, no, I'm, I drink too much coffee. I, that's it, I drink too much coffee. It's coffee, I drink too much. That's, no more caffeine. I don't drink too much. Mom, do you really think you should let Chief Applegate walk around babbling like that? Sometimes I think I shouldn't let Chief Applegate walk around, period. Um, I gotta go put money in the meter. But, Evie, we're at home. I'm just practicing safe parking. Don't want to get ticket. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Terrible. Even Iggy and Bobo won't talk to me. Well, that's because they're dancing with each other. What are you doing with the paint roller? The paint roller, right? 
great. Good observation. Um, it's the latest thing in rocking and rolling. Oh, great. Something else I don't know about. My life is a wasteland of uncool. Yeah, um, speaking of cool, could you give me some more ice? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Something is terribly wrong here. All right, Evie, what's wrong with this picture? I can explain. No need. I know exactly what it is. The color scheme. The sun-dried tomato should never be next to the radicchio. It spoils the presentation. Waiter! Evie, did I mention your outfit? It's very nice. Thanks. It's sorry about my tires. It just hasn't been a good year. Get it? Good year? Evie, have some pâté. You seem stressed. Pâté? Uh, I'd rather have a shrimp cocktail. Whatever you like. I'll order it. No need. Um, I'll go in the kitchen and I'll get it. The waiter's right over. <laughs> So cool. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? Chris just won the Vogan contest. Yeah, he's really good at anything where you do absolutely nothing. A Vogan contest. He said you gave him the idea. Oh, um, listen, everybody. I'd like to thank my friend Evie Garland because if it wasn't for her, I would have never realized what a stiff I can be. Come on, Chris. We all know what a stiff you can be. Come on, everybody. Let's dance. Chris, have you seen D.E.D.? What? what are you doing here? Voguing, what else? Right. I wonder if I can get back into my therapy book. Maybe. I beg. I gotta get home before Mom realizes I'm gone. Evie Garland, I know you've been using your powers. You better have one good expl... Nation, young lady. I'm sorry, Mom. Evie, will you tell me exactly what is going on here? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing? Let's start with your clothes. Oops. I knew it. You have been using your powers and getting into trouble. I accidentally made these three dates for the same night, and I've been trying to juggle them. Evie, I can understand you not wanting to disappoint your friends, but that is no excuse to misuse your powers. Look, I know, and I'll never make a promise I can't keep. Promise? Maybe. <laughs> Look, I'll go change and I'll finish helping you. Ah, uh, Donna, you're not going to believe this. I've been seeing Evie all over the place tonight. She's been in three different places. Right now she's at the goody-goody, and now she's at the... So, I think Kyle needs a good, long rest. Today at 11, the boys in blue are in Cincinnati to wrap up a three-game series with the Reds. Brett Butler and the Dodgers battle to be best in the West. Today at 11, here on Channel 5, L.A.'s baseball station. And now rules were meant to be broken on more Out of This World. Up next. <laughs>